Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, my fellow travelers. No, this isn't Santa's sexier younger brother. It's me, Mark, from Walter's World. And today we're in Paris, France, in front of Notre Dame here at Christmas time. And today we have for you are the five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Europe at Christmas time. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to love are the Christmas markets because here in Europe there's Christmas markets everywhere. Germany is famous from small villages to big cities have them. Here in France, Strasbourg is famous for its Christmas market. Well worth going to. All around Paris they have all kinds of little markets as well and it's great. You go there, you have the food that you have at the Christmas markets and of course you have to have the glue vine or the hot wine or mulled wine you drink to keep you warm in these Christmas markets at this cool time of year. So that's the first thing you're going to love coming to Europe for the Christmas markets. The second thing you're going to love about coming to Europe at Christmas is the old world traditions you see at Christmas because it's not just, you know, a big red fat Santa Claus. You have Nikolaus that comes on the 6th of December in Germany and Austria and other places or you have, you know, Black Peter that comes, you know, in other parts and you have uh, Peltsnickel that might come with St. Nick in Austria to beat the children that are bad and you see all these Christmas traditions throughout Europe and how different they are than you have back in the US or Australia or wherever you're coming from. Also, since Europe is such a Christian continent, you will have Christmas decorations everywhere so the streets will be lined with lights and trees everywhere and people dress up the window shops and all kinds of stuff for Christmas and that just makes it fantastic. The third thing you're going to love about coming in at Christmas time is all the Christmas food that comes. Whether you're having panettone in Italy or the glue vine or the hot wine in Germany, Every country around Europe has special things they have at Christmas time. Maybe it's para, you know, eating bone marrow in Italy or all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of fantastic dishes. Um, the little Dampfgrill or these like wet dumplings you have in Austria, which are fantastic. All kinds of fantastic food that just comes out at Christmas time. You know, and back in the U.S., we have you know Christmas crunch is our one you know Christmas thing that comes out and some peppermint spices. But here, every city, every country, every region has one or two regional Christmas treats that you really should eat and enjoy. And then what's cool is that those Christmas markets, you actually have a lot of those regional foods, so definitely have some regional Christmas fun. The fourth thing that's great about coming to Europe at Christmas time is, I know usually I'm not very uh, supportive of European service, but at Christmas time, European service really picks up. People are a lot friendlier, they're nicer with the tourists, they're helping you out. I know we were in Bratislava and Nikolaus came, you know, when we were in Bratislava and he left outside our hotel door, he left a big chocolate Santa for us and it was fantastic. And you see, the people really do do a lot more during Christmas time, a lot more friendly, a lot more helpful. And everyone is that way, especially at Christmas time. You just have that happy feeling and that is in the service industry here in Europe at Christmas, which is really great. And the fifth thing you're going to love about coming to Europe at Christmas time is the Europeans are outside. You know, in the U.S. at Christmas time, people stay inside. It's like you don't leave. You, you stay indoors and you only go out to get the mail and send your Christmas cards or go to Starbucks to get a peppermint latte. Here in Europe, people are outside enjoying, yes, the Christmas markets. Or here in Notre Dame, you see there's still people all around, milling around, enjoying things. The cafes, you're still at outdoor cafes this time of the year and you can enjoy being outside. And it's cool because it's not just in Lisbon where it's still warm, it's here in Paris or it's up in you know, Helsinki. You can be outside at Christmas because they've really made it so you can enjoy outdoors and see all these things like the markets and the decorations and all the traditions and it's fantastic. So those are the five things you're going to love. But what are the things, five things you're not going to like about coming to Europe at Christmas time? Well the first thing you're not going to like is you're going to have high season pricing. It's like you're coming in August or July with the prices for hotels and for food. So you're going to pay a lot more than if you came in November. So if you're looking to avoid that, we actually came middle of December, staying through middle of January. So we actually get to have a little bit lower prices. But when you come, once school's out, prices go through the roof when you are here at Christmas. The second thing you might like is in the U.S. when you travel at Christmas you get off the week between Christmas. So you might want to come to Europe during that between the 25th and the 1st of January uh, to enjoy some more Christmas stuff. The thing is a lot of the Christmas markets, especially in Germany, the 23rd of December, they close and they're gone. The 24th, 25th, there's nothing there. 26th, hey, people are back to normal work. and so. The Christmas spirit disappears relatively quickly and having those markets close on the 23rd, the last day of it, can be kind of disappointing if you're getting here and you want to celebrate, you know, Christmas glue vine on the 25th. The third thing you're not going to like about when you come here at Christmas time 
is transportation is packed because this is a high travel season all the kids in Europe are out of school all kinds of things so everywhere you go there's gonna be people the trains will be booked out the buses will be booked out hotels are booked so if you're gonna go someplace like a Paris make sure you reserve your your places early and if you're traveling on the 24th or 25th or the 30th first or something like that make sure you buy your tickets online beforehand to make sure you have them because if you show up on the 24th to buy a ticket there might not be any seats available and that leads into the fourth thing you're not going to like is it's not just they might not be seats available there might not be trains in the uk on christmas day there's no trains or other places there's extremely limited service of trains on holidays so you might not have as many options to get to different cities you want to go to so make sure you're planning these things out because things really quiet down at this time of year especially in transportation so make sure you check to make sure there's the trains and you get your reservations beforehand okay and it kind of leads into the fifth thing you're not gonna like when you do come here if you do have issues a lost passport or a police report or you want to do some work or something like that Europe really kind of closes down during the Christmas holidays holiday I'm talking about like the 23rd through the first lots of uh, offices are closed government offices are closed too or they have very limited hours during that time so if you got to get your visas or things like that you're gonna need extra time so those are the five things that we love and hate about coming to Europe at Christmas what are some things you love and we have other videos on traveling Europe at Christmas on our website at waltersworld.com we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. We wish you a very Merry Christmas, uh, wherever you are in the world. If you want to see our video on five things you love and hate about Christmas market specifically, check here. If you want to check other things, five things you love and hate about Paris, boom, click here. Otherwise, have a great time traveling, and we'll see you later. Ho, ho, ho. Have a very Merry Christmas <laughs> from Paris, France. Bye.